Hey guys, Erica with a K here. Today's video is going to be the start of a new series on my channel, which is going to be makeup artist tips from a makeup artist. Today's installment of this video is going to be about the beauty blender. Now, please don't mind, mine's a little dirty. I use this one personally, and I also have a smaller one. So my first tip is if you're gonna have a big one, use it for your foundation. If you're gonna have a small one, use it for your concealer. It's just easier to get into smaller surfaces or smaller areas on your face. And with the larger beauty blender, it's just better to cover more of your face. Instead of running this under cold water or worrying about wetting it too much, you can always spray it with your favorite setting spray. If you are somebody like me and you just go through setting spray way too fast and you don't want to waste it spraying it on a beauty blender, you can always opt for something like a rose water or a coconut water. And you don't have to worry about it being too damp or getting too disgusting afterwards. Of course, I do recommend cleaning your beauty blenders. This isn't a good representation. So first I'm gonna start off spraying it. A few spritz will do. And then what I'm gonna do is take my favorite, at the moment, drugstore foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in 205, that's my color. And I am going to just put that right on the beauty blender, like so. You could always add more at the end. The cool thing about a beauty blender is it kind of picks up all the extra product so you don't have to worry about having like a whole caked face. I just go around my face and I just dab it on. You're going to do the same exact thing with your beauty blender that you use for your concealer. If you don't have a small one, you can just use a smaller side. I'm just going to use a smaller beauty blender. So I'm going to go in and take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, because that is what I'm using in my project pan right now. And I'm just going to put that on under my eyes. This one's in 35, and most times I like to mix my 35 and 25. I'm going to spray my beauty blender with it. Just as a quick closing, I want to say that if you have oily skin and you find yourself in the drugstore and you see things that say dewy or pro glow, you're going to want to stay away from that if you have oily skin. It's just going to enhance the oiliness of your skin. And it's also going to accentuate any texture that you have, either from previous acne or just textured skin that you may have. It's just going to accentuate that. So what you want to do is find things that say matte finish. Whereas if you have dry skin, you probably want to go towards things that do say dewy and pro glow and highlight and everything like that. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope you guys like this new series that I'm coming out with. And I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel. Until next time, work hard, dream big, eat cake. Bye guys.